Hello, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTV. We're gonna have a look at creating a SharePoint space in SharePoint, this new kind of VR mixed reality platform, which is pretty cool. So I'm in SharePoint and I'm in a, in a site here and I'm just gonna to go to my site settings because the first thing you need to do is actually activate it. So what I'm actually going to do is go to my settings. So I'm going to manage site features and then I'm gonna scroll down the bottom to where it's got SharePoint space. So it's in alphabetical order. So we'll go down to spaces, which has got a preview and I'll activate that space. So what that'll do is hopefully when we go back, so once we've activated that, we can go back to our home settings and we can create a new VR space, which will be great. So we'll go up to new and see if we've had success for that. And you can see now that I've got um, my new, uh, I've got a new category there called space preview. So I'm gonna click on space preview. And basically what it has is it has a couple of things. Um, these are our structures, kind of the space that we're in, and we've got some different galleries and things. I'm just gonna choose terrace because it's probably the best one to have a look at what we do. And then we're going to create a, um, a space. So let's just call this, um, uh, we might call this like a biology space. And we can give it a description, but we won't. We'll just press create. And it builds the environment and you'll see it in a minute. Uh, we've got our VR kind of space here, which is fantastic, nice and smooth. Got a nice little background, which is great. Just make my screen a little bit bigger so you can see. Um, yeah, and so we're just using our mouse, we're scrolling around, which is fantastic. And then we can start to add some different um, bits of content. So let's have a look at how we can build that content going forward. I'll make that a little bit bigger. So here we can actually click on the top, the space design. And the space design is basically what we see kind of like the background. So we can chase, change that structure. We can change the name. If we go down, we can change uh, the background image, you can see that's changed to a little bit more of a desert kind of scene, which is fantastic, full 360 view. So we can change those, which is pretty great. Uh, we can have a welcome message, like an audio file, which is good. We can have some ambient sound. We might have some rain, for example, coming through. Uh, so you can hopefully hear some of that sound coming through, or we might have none. Uh, if we go down, we can also change some different things. Actually, if I go back up here, we can actually, if I hit my drop down menu, you may have an illustration. Uh, so you can see there, we're getting a little bit more of a digital storytelling kind of look about it. Uh, we can change that kind of background to whatever we want as an illustration, or we could even have our own custom 360 degree file, which is pretty cool. Um, I might just select back on that image just so that we've got some context to what we're doing. So I might shut the space design. So that's basically your VR room and the space around it. There's some other things we can do, but we'll check them out later. Um, up here, we can view it in full screen, obviously, and we can give feedback and so forth, but let's add some content. So we'll hit the plus and it says, uh, Paul, what do you wanna add? So we've got a whole range of different things. Obviously we've got video, text and so forth. Let's go to a 3D object. And basically it just goes, can't put it in the background, but we can put it on our stage. If we put this one right in, uh, in front of us, we click it once and it comes up, what do you want to bring in? So it's looking for 3D files. So if you're familiar with things like uh, 3D paint, you've got models sitting in your OneDrive, um, you can put those in. Uh, let's put some animated models. Let's have a look. And this is similar to PowerPoint as well. Um, let's have a look and see what we've got here that we can actually add. We might put this B in here. So we'll insert the B and see how that looks. Takes a little while to come up, but you can see there that it's kind of, um, it's flapping away there, which is pretty cool. Now, if I click on that once, you can see a couple of things down the bottom. We can actually alter the different degrees that it's set. We can actually raise it up a little bit. So by clicking on that and, re and um, altering that, we can change it. We've got all our coordinates, we can resize it as well, we can bin it and do some other things. So just by doing that, you can see that we've got a really effective kind of 360 degree VR space, which is fantastic. 
If I hit the uh, go full screen, we kind of get rid of a few things and you can see it a little bit better um, going forward, which is pretty cool. Let's zip over here and see what else we've got. So we've got some different things that we can add. Uh, the file viewer is where we can add things like um, Microsoft uh, Word docs and things like that, which is great. We can add video, we can add 3D text. So if I click here and put some text in here, we can actually call that on the right hand side here. We might call that biology 101. We've got our different colors. We've got our weights. We've got our text size, which is great. We've got some different frames that we can actually put it in. So we can increase the depth of that and make it a little bit bigger. And then obviously we can center it. We can put it on the podium or off the podium. We can do a range of different things there, which is great. Height from the podium we can alter as well. And so we can kind of build that up and down so forth and do some different things. We can even put some actions and some triggers in. So we can actually put actions in where it plays audio, links to another space and do some pretty cool things there, which is great. So that's the kind of text aspect of it, which is good. Let's have a look at what else we can do. If we go to the other side of our B and our wasp, we've got some other things. We can put in our own 360 degree uh, image, which is great. We can put 360 video in, which is super exciting. Uh, we've got normal video there as well, and we've got some people. So you can see here, we're starting to kind of play around with this different view, which is great. It's got your space has been saved, um, and we can start to play around with some different content and share it with our students, um, which is super, uh, super exciting in regard to going forward. If I minimize that, you can see that we've got uh, different ways of actually um, creating. So once again, we've got our, our save as draft. We've got some different options there. We can save that as a template as well. Um, and obviously we've still got our space designs on the side here as well, which is pretty exciting actually going forward. Hey!